right, welcome to another Afro Forex video. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you hit the bell notification, and also make sure that uh, you do end up liking this video. And of course, sharing a comment and possibly sharing this so you can reach as many people out there as possible. So I know that uh, I've also been getting a lot of comments from guys, you know, guys asking, you know, why don't you produce more content and stuff? But guys, one thing you do need to remember is that I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm a full-time trader, so I normally do this uh, when I do end up getting the chance uh, to end up doing so. But I don't think I've been as lost as most of you uh, possibly end up trying to perceive. I mean, we normally do see on an online sessions, you know, the daily analysis, you know, the intermediate, you know, that we do end up interacting with quite a number of you there. Uh, the weekly swing and all the other sessions that we do end up having so i'm not as lost uh, as most of you try to perceive but really glad uh to hear the comments and the feedback that you guys normally end up giving us so i'm uh, coming to you guys from a place called lake element uh mountain lodge which is uh, in nakuru county actually first time here not in nakuru county but actually in this particular place i'm sure it's a lodge that uh, most of you guys normally see especially if you're using the nakuru uh nairobi highway uh so just decided to possibly just end up coming here chilling seeing what it's all about it's actually set up on a hill and i'm sure that you've seen uh from some of the views and the images that uh, were shared before this you know it's actually set up on a hill which is pretty interesting the cabins are really good i'm sure you've also seen that so if you do end up getting the time also make sure that you do end up passing by and guys i'm not paid to actually end up advertising the hotels that i go to or the places that I go to. I know some of you have seen the feedback. If I'm paid, I'm not paid. I just go out with this, you know, just to share things, I'm just creating, you know, just trying to create content out there. It's not that I'm paid. But of course, if you do want to end up uh, visiting any of the hotels uh, that I have visited, make sure that you do end up uh, passing by. You know, some really, really nice places, nice views. Some of them, especially the food, like in this place, it's really good, you know. So, you know, if you do end up getting the time, make sure that you do end up traveling, see the world, you know, meet people and see also what's out there. So, um, just want to answer a quick question. I know there are a lot of uh, questions I've been getting. There's one about how to make a trading plan. And we've been getting that question a lot, especially even at the intermediate, uh, from time to time, even in the daily analysis. You know, we do end up seeing guys asking about uh, how do you end up coming up with a trading plan and stuff and I just want to give a couple of pointers of how you can actually end up going about it in terms of making a trading plan and what you actually need to end up uh, making sure that you do end up focusing on when you're making a trading plan. Now the way us guys normally look at it uh, in Afri Forex is any trade that you're going to be taking has to follow three things all right and these three things we normally call them DTM. So D is for direction, T is for timing, M is for money management. When you look at any chart you need to first figure out where is the market going that's direction all right is it going up is it going down is it going sideways and remember that there are always those three ways that the market can move of course over and above the technical aspect which is the trend uh, the channel and the range but ideally you need to figure out is the market going up down or sideways and of course now also figure out what market structure we follow is it in a trend range is it in a channel all right once you end up figuring that out you need to also figure out timing, all right? At what point in time am I going to be checking into my trade? You know, it's not good enough to possibly just say that since you're going up, I'm just going to buy anywhere. You're going to get stopped out. And I'm sure most of you have experienced that on the charts. You need to figure out what time, at exactly what is the right timing. The direction can be correct, but if your timing is wrong, you're still going to get stopped out. The third thing you need to figure out is money management if you're going to be taking a trade what lots are you going to be using how are you going to be calculating your lots what is your risk uh, on any trade that you end up looking at as a potential uh, trade you know where are you going to be placing your stop loss money management is not only about entry it's also about exit when the market gets to the next problem area, how much of my trade am I going to be coming out um, or possibly exiting or, or profiting? You know, some of that and putting that into your pocket, you know. Also, in terms of, let's say, if the market goes against you, what mechanisms are you going to have in terms of if the market goes against me and I don't want to take a full hit? Because, like, I really end up taking full hits. I'm sure that some of you, even when you end up coming in for the live trade sessions that we do have, we've set a stop loss at a particular point, but... <clears throat> If we end up seeing that the market is actually going against us, you actually don't need to be sitting there just waiting to actually end up getting stopped out. You can actually cut your losses. If you cut your losses, it actually makes things much easier for you in terms of recovery. 
uh, because you have lesser losses to recover and it also makes your profits actually end up looking much bigger so you also need to end up thinking about that so dtm direction the timing and the money management you need to figure that out so in terms of direction going back into it you need to figure out what are you going to be using also in terms of figuring out your direction is the structure enough you know are you going to be using a set of indicators i know some of you possibly end up using indicators we don't uh, we end up using other things just reading the story of price and also uh, looking at the fundamentals because you know, there's a way you can actually end up figuring out what the big boys could possibly be doing just by looking at uh, the fundamentals of what could possibly end up uh, happening and you know maybe based on that economic data that's coming out the big boys will possibly be trying to see whether they can end up pushing the market in a particular direction just off those so we also end up using that just to end up increasing the basis of our trades working out but you see there are so many ways of how to end up trading so that's just basically how us guys go about it but if you're going to be using indicators what set of indicators are you using make sure that you also do end up back testing them uh, to make sure that they're always giving you the proper directions whether emas or whatever it is that you're going to be using make sure that they do end up giving you a solid direction now when it comes to timing um we end up reading the story of price basically that's what price action is so if you end up reading the story of price and you can definitely see how the buyers and the sellers are fighting in the market you need to figure out at what point in time are you going to be hitting the buy or the selling opportunity if you're going to be using indicators how are you going to go about it at what point exactly is it when the ems cross or is it when you end up seeing something with the rsi and the stochastics and whatever indicators that you're going to be using how are you going to be going about it and you need to make sure that you do end up documenting all these things because it's very important uh the reason why it's important is because it's going to end up forming some sort of a checklist that you're going to be using so that anytime you're going to be hitting a trade you need to make sure that you're producing the same amount of trades every single time because when it comes to consistency that's the main thing that many people end up lacking and that's the reason why a lot of people actually held back when it comes to trading if you can end up finding some good consistency in terms of how you take your trades and the trades are exactly the same each and every point then at least that's how you end up starting to gain some consistent profits because if you're inconsistent with your trading then what normally happens is that you'll also end up being inconsistent with the profits that you're going to be getting so i hope that you're getting my point so you need to figure out at what point are you going to be hitting uh, your trades you need to come up with a timing criteria a direction criteria a timing criteria all right and then you also need to come up with a money management criteria which means if you're going to be risking two percent on every trade then it needs to be two percent on every trade it doesn't matter how good a setup looks because i know that sometimes the markets will possibly play games some opportunities might possibly look better and more promising than others but you really need to make sure that you're following the same thing every single time so that means that um, in terms of risk make sure that you come up with some proper risk uh parameters whatever percentage you're gonna be risking when the market gets to the next problem area how much of the trade are you gonna be closing that also needs to be documented and you need to make sure that you follow it all right so if you at least you do end up having that and also maybe now in terms of when the market goes against you what are you gonna end up doing are you gonna scratch the trade are you gonna close some of the trade and possibly leave the rest in case the market decides to move in your favor then at least you still end up getting something out of it so you need to make sure that you document all that stuff but at least if you focus on that the dtm direction the timing and the money management have a criteria for all of them have a proper criteria for your entry and your exit the rest of it i think should be fine now the biggest problem that many people have and i think i'll talk about that in the next video still in line with making uh, the trading plan is that many people have good plans but they actually end up not following them so the problem is not the system or the trading plan that they have it's actually them not following the plan that's the biggest problem so we're going to be looking at that and of course in line with that we can definitely end up talking about greed and also fear and how to end up overcoming that because that's also something that we also get a lot of inquiries about but ideally remember when it comes to trading as i finish there are two things that and two types of errors that are normally there there's the human error and there's the system error a human error is basically whereby you have a good system but you're doing your own things you know you're supposed to not take a particular trade based on your trading plan but you take it if you end up losing that's purely on you so that is human error all right you're supposed to close a particular trade at a particular point but you did not 
that is purely on you that has nothing to do with the markets a system error is whereby you followed everything that the plan told you but you still ended up losing you should not feel bad about that because sometimes the markets will do their own things you did everything that you're supposed to do according to your plan but the market still went against you there's nothing wrong and nothing bad to feel about that because that's not on you you know especially if you've backtested a system and you know that it works this momentary uh, um, drawdowns that normally happens are bound to happen and there's nothing much that you can do about it you just need to let the market do its thing but as long as you keep on going what you'll end up finding out is that the odds will actually work in your favor especially if you just keep at it even when you end up going through a series of drawdowns just make sure that you keep on fighting for as long as it's system errors and you've tested the system and it's fine you should actually uh, be able to go through the drawdowns and possibly end up coming out on the other side and you'll be back to winning but make sure that you do avoid uh, human error as much as possible because that is really going to pull you down and um, especially if you're not quite sure about what you're doing on the charts you definitely need to make sure uh, that you first of all find a proper working system make sure that you beat yourself to make sure that you follow the system as much as possible make sure that you journal as much as possible and make sure that you learn as much as possible from the mistakes that you end up making on the charts if you do that you should be fine so i guess uh, if you do have any questions feel free to contact us or make sure that you do end up uh, writing a comment i know that most of you do have our contact details and uh, it's good to always get feedback from you guys but make sure that you do end up giving us your feedback and of course hopefully we'll see you in the next video when we end up talking about the greed and the fear aspect also in line with how to end up making a trading plan so see you in the next video